All right, well, expectations are high for NVIDIA ahead of its second quarter earnings results next week. Now, these earnings report, this earnings report is going to be the AI hype cycle's biggest test yet, potentially. Here for a deeper dive, we want to bring in Yahoo Finance's Dan Halley. Is it going to live up to those expectations? That's what analysts seem to think. Uh, we have a, a bunch of uh, different analysts from different Wall Street firms raising their price targets. Uh, we have Wells Fargo going from $450 to $500. We have Baird going from uh, $475 to $570. UBS from $475 to $540. These are big changes, and this comes even after NVIDIA had signaled that they were going to outperform for this current quarter uh, revenue. Uh, we're looking at uh, a, let's see here, uh, on the earnings per share, a 306% year-over-year increase. Uh, on actual revenue, a 64% jump year-over-year. You remember that the prior uh, anticipated revenue was for $7.2 billion for the quarter, uh, but NVIDIA came out and said, look, we're going to bring in uh, $11 billion, plus or minus 2%, uh, for the quarter. So, you know, they're really going to have to knock it out of the park if they're going to beat this, but it seems like everybody is just saying, sure, it, it's a shoe in at this point. That's where the, the potential negative comes in because, you know, this is one of the companies that's been driving the AI hype cycle alongside Microsoft, Google, uh, Meta, Amazon. If they miss, and I'm not saying they're going to, I'm just saying if, then it could give uh, the whole AI hype train uh, could kind of derail it for the time being, just, you know, for, for a little bit. The, the problem that NVIDIA has, if they have any problems at this point, is they can't get as many products out as they want. TSMC just doesn't have capacity at this point. Uh, when these companies put in orders, the NVIDIA customers put in orders, it takes some time for those to get out the door. And right now, because so many people are going to NVIDIA, because so many people want to get into AI, they can't match up with what they're offering. So some uh, analysts say, look, they'll eventually catch up in you know 2024 something along those lines it's not that big of a deal but it is something that i think is worth looking at especially when you say okay everybody wants to see the i guess results of the big hype cycle you know start showing it to me microsoft tried to do that a little bit in its most recent earnings pointing to specific numbers uh when it comes to ai Google was like, hey, uh, here's some products that we have out now that are doing it. And Meta's like, yeah, we're, we're working on it. So, you know, every company is putting it out there. Apple's just like, it's there. Just don't worry about it. Um, but, you know, when, when it comes to NVIDIA specifically, they have to show how it's benefiting them. Uh, and uh, hopefully for them, uh, they're able to do that. If not, then, like I said, it could derail the, uh, the hype cycle for a little bit. Derail the hype cycle, but I mean, Dan, this is a stock that is up more than 200% yeah. off of that hype cycle. Yeah, I mean, this is this is an absolute uh, runaway. And, you know, for, for NVIDIA, you know, we've, we've kind of talked about this before. It's they hit the kind of big to do in tech at just the right time. Uh, they did it with crypto, bottom fell out of that and happened to fall out of that as well. With NVIDIA, where they had inventory problems, uh, they did it with gaming. Uh, that's really how they made their bones. They made enough money to go ahead and invest in the AI efforts. And then for years, they've been doing this AI thing. Uh, people kind of dismissed it at first, and now it's just paying off big time. We'll just see if they can actually meet this. Uh, I think people are expecting them to blow away the $11 billion number. And then what does that mean for the next quarter? Are they going to expect <laughs> more from that? And then what does that mean for the next year comp, right? Because yeah. then there, it's going to be, okay, well, you went from here to here. What are you going to do next year? You're going to fall down off. at right. some point. But yeah. We'll see. The pressure is on. Yes. It's yes. safe to say for NVIDIA to deliver on those expectations. All right, Dan Halley, thanks. Thank you.